great things going on today. We obviously the art on the street. These artists are amazing. They take 16 hours to do the completion of their project. We have the Bottega project, which is young apprentices learning the masters, which is the Michelangelos, the Raphaels, and the Leonardos. And so they're doing that on the street. And we have kids' activities. We have um, SpongeBob and kids over there face painting and spin art. And then we got fireworks at the end of the day, so it's really just going to be a, an amazing day and tomorrow too. Okay, this is the Bottega project, and I'm one of three groups. We're Leonardo da Vinci, and we're doing his Last Supper, and I have three uh, high school students working with me, and we've compartmentalized the piece, and we each have a section of it. Okay. Um, could you tell me a little bit about what your inspiration was to do this? Uh, well, it was uh, Kathleen Huddle came up with the idea for doing Bottegas, which are Italian workshops, and she invited me to do one, and uh, I decided to do The Last Supper because it's easily divisible by geometric shapes and compartmentalizes into like a chopped up candy bar for each person to work on. This one is called Bottega di Raphael because we are copying Raphael's uh, Madonna. The Madonna is called uh, Madonna della Seggiola, which means Madonna of the chair because it's a very ornate chair in the painting. Uh, we are using the Renaissance uh, techniques. We prepared our drawing, we made it to this size, we pounced it by putting holes in it and then we put it down here today and we stenciled it on to get our proportions and everything right. We spent a lot of time on the prep work. The stained glass window is at Corning Museum of Glass. These students, these artists have been working for already for 16 to 18 hours to produce this street art and um, we're real excited to have them here today. Okay, looks like you've seen the drill. You know, arms above the head. <laughs> you guys have heard, you can slip them up over the top and you know, watch them take it off for a while. is an anamorphic image of Mark Twain and uh, this type of art was very popular um, you know in Le Leonardo da Vinci's time especially when the kings uh, there were secret messages that needed to be passed on then the artists would create them and you know on scrolls and they would be taken to different people and they would just reflect it in mirrors similar to here you know so what they see is an abstract on the scroll so the general public cannot really uh, read it or decipher it but um, it can, when reflected in a mirror, in a cylindrical mirror, it would show the actual message. And what I've done is an image of Mark Twain that has been distorted and that looks like kind of an abstract. So I have little kids come in here and go, oh, that's a dragon. And actually what it is is a portrait of Mark Twain that is reflected in a cylindrical, not really a mirror, but a cylindrical reflecting object over here. night so I just did it so I thought maybe I'll do this for here because it's colorful and I like drawing anime. <laughs> 
How long does it take you to draw that? Uh, that took me half an hour. This is an exhibit that is going on only for the weekend of the Street Painting Festival. Um, I came down to the Street Painting Festival last year and there was an exhibit at the time and I thought it was great to have that exhibit in an empty space on the street while the festival is going on and I thought if one exhibit is good, let's have another one. Um, so it adds an extra um, dimension to the festival. People can come and see the artists creating the work on the street, but they can also come in here into a gallery space and, and see work that's already made, hanging on the walls, a wider variety of work. So this exhibit was inspired by the artist painting on the street, and the title of the exhibit is Art Ground. And there are six contemporary artists from Elmira exhibiting work in this show. And all of the work in some way is a response to or comments on ground. So we have um, chairs that are hanging on the wall instead of on the ground. Um, we also have a painting of a rug and behind the um, street signs. We have video of the ground. Um, we have pottery created from the ground and paintings that were done with the surfaces sitting on the ground. So we um, have a, a wide variety of ground in this exhibit. Uh, today there was a man who came in and I think this is very exciting. He walked to the back and he looked at the video and he saw the video projecting on the ground and it was really big. And, uh, he came up and he said, I walked in here really sad and I have a smile on my face. And he said it was just like a really wonderful experience. And that really meant more to me than anything I can imagine. Somebody responding to artwork and saying it really affected them, changed their mood, uh, exhilarated them. So that's my, there were many memories of people coming and saying things, but he was particularly memorable. Alright, okay. Yeah, the brush just lifts them off. This year I, I got mine down in like an hour. I don't have the background done yet, but it went fast, so.